Welcome to my desktop and the second round of RAMP, the Rabbits or Comers mapping project. This is an event hosted by me, David N, to encourage people who are curious about the Doom community to give mapping a try and to be part of a wider project. It's the most oddly satisfying environment to build things in I've ever encountered, and with modern source ports you can either stick close to the original Doom graphics and gameplay, or equally you can reskin and rework as much as you like to create entirely new games. So if you are someone, or you know people in your other communities, who might enjoy it, please point them this way, and I would be delighted to see what they can create. There's a specific Discord server for Ramp, which I'll link in the description, where feedback and help gets exchanged, and the wider Doom community as well is paradoxically friendly and helpful for a game that was so violent and controversial when it was released. So the Ramp project will end up as a hub. Uh, this one is Ramp from 2021, where your map gets showcased alongside all the other submissions, and they're all part of a wider sort of meta game. Uh, with that said, the goal of this project, if you're interested in joining, is make a map. Uh, any theme, any level of skill, it doesn't matter. Just try something out. Uh, there are more details at ramp2022.tmouse.net to get you off the ground. And in this video, I will walk through the setup process. So to set ourselves up, we need three things. We need a Doom source port, which is the program used to run the game. We need a Doom iWOD file, which contains all the base resources and data that make up the game. And a Doom editor, which is an editor for Doom. Uh, usefully, I have provided all three of these in the quick start pack linked up here. So if you're on Windows, you can download that and unzip it somewhere and you should get a head start. Uh, all the individual tools in the starter pack are listed here as well on the Getting Started page, so you can just pick things that you need. So I've got the Quick Start Pack downloaded to my desktop, so let's open this up, extract it, and see what we've got in here. We've got a few folders, and let's look at the source port that we're using first. Uh, this one is GZ Doom. Uh, which is my personal favourite source port. It's the one the project is eventually going to be built on, but you can equally use a different one. Uh, with the GZ Doom, I have also included an iWOD file so that we have something to work with. This one is Free Doom Phase 2, which is a freely distributable alternative to the Doom 2 iWOD file. Uh, anything that's played or made on Free Doom 2 should work equally well with Doom 2. So if we start GZ Doom up, we should get the Free Doom Phase 2 title screen. Uh, now, by default, GZ Doom has this sort of smooth filtering over everything, uh, which I don't personally like, so I always turn this off. There are a wealth of options in GZ Doom, so you can tweak it exactly how you want to play. Texture filter mode, there it is, set that to none. And uh, as it's such a loud game, uh, I often set the volume down as well. Uh, and you might find it more comfortable if you do so as well. Whichever way, we can select new game here, select a difficulty, and we are on the first level of Free Doom 2, so that all appears to be working. Now, if you have a copy of Doom 2, and to be honest, these days you probably do even if you don't know it, uh, it's all over the internet, you can get it from Steam or GOG or a hundred different places, uh, then you can use the WAD file from that to build on as well. Uh, you might find it in your Steam folder for either the modern Doom source ports or Doom Eternal or any number of things. Uh, whatever it is, uh, you can copy that to the GZ Doom folder. I've got a copy here. And now, if we try running this again, it will give us the choice, because we've got two different game iWODs. So let's select Doom 2 this time. And there we go, we are now in a different game. We're on the first map of Doom 2. Perfect. So we've got the game running. Let's talk about how to edit it. Uh, I've included two editors with the pack. There's Slade 3, which is good for looking at the contents of a WOD, manipulating those, and it's got a map editor built into it. It's available for all platforms. There's also UDB, Ultimate Doom Builder, which is mostly for Windows, just about works on other systems, according to some people I've heard. Uh, but this one happens to be my favorite one. That's the one I'm going to demonstrate on just now. Let's run builder.exe. Uh, UDB gets updated all the time. Uh, yep, there it is. I, <laughs> I was going to say I wouldn't be surprised if it had been updated since I put this pack together this morning. Uh, you can update if you'd like. We're going to cancel for now. Uh, 
Uh, before we start anything with this, we want to set a game configuration up so that UDB knows where to find the data files and how to run the game. Uh, so we want to go to Tools and Game Configurations. And now we have a couple of options. Doom Engine maps can be for several games, as you can see here, and they can be one of several formats, and I'm honestly never sure which one to recommend to beginners. If you want to make a map as you would have in 1994, 1995, which is more limited but possibly more digestible at first, you want to use the original Doom format. If you'd like to take advantage of all the advances the Doom community has made since then, you want UDMF. Uh, UDMF removes a lot of limits that might trip you up in the original format, but it also opens up a ton of other possibilities that could be overwhelming. Uh, I will go with Doom format for now, but I will show you how to work with both of them in the next video when I put a proper level together. For now, we want to set up our data resources, which will automatically be loaded when we start or open a Doom 2 map. So for now, we just want the stuff from Doom 2. We're going to add a resource. We are going to pick from a WAD file. Then in Ramp Starter Pack, we move Doom 2 to the GZ Doom folder, and we're going to open that up. Uh, that's the only resource we need for now. Over on the Testing tab, uh, I've got GZ Doom set up already here because I did this previously, but if you didn't have that, you would just click the plus, uh, navigate to wherever your GZ Doom is, and click that for the testing application. Let's start a new map now. Uh, we go to File New, we select the configuration that we set up, uh, which is Doom format within GZ Doom. Uh, level name can be customized, but trust me, leave it at map one. Map one is what you want. Uh, and we're just going to select OK to start up a new one. Like I said, I am going to go into how to actually use this in a later video. Uh, for now, I'm just going to draw an arbitrarily shaped room, put that in, put in a player start, that will do. Let's raise this bit up a bit, put a texture on there. So because we've got the Doom 2 WOD loaded, uh, we have access to all the floor and wall textures that the original Doom 2 had. Uh, there's quite a selection in there, and it's more than enough to get you started. But you do also have the option of using external textures as well. I've included a couple of packs that are popular in the community in the starter pack, and if we like, we can add those as well. So let's go back to game configurations. Let's add another WOD here, and we're going to go into the resources folder, uh, where we've got 32 and 24, 15 text v2, and OTEX. Uh, this one is a pack that was put together by many members of the community and sort of builds on the standard textures and add some new ones. And Otex is an incredible uh, texture resource by Ukiro, which adds all kinds of themes as well. Uh, this is one that I really love and that uh, really reinvigorated me when I discovered it. So now if you go back into the per first person view and uh, select the texture browser, yeah, we've got 6,602 textures now, which is a bit of a leap from the original 500 or so. And you can have fun exploring all of the things that are available here. I'm just going to put uh, one of those OTEX textures onto this wall here. Uh, let's use that one. Uh, at any time, you can drop this down. You can select your difficulty level, select your source port, hit play. And you can be wandering around in your, well, let's call it a Doom level for the sake of argument. So have fun experimenting with that. That's how to set yourself up for editing in Doom, and in the next video I will show you how to make a basically workable Doom level.